Now, a lot of you out there have an AR-10, and you're not going to hear me complain about the recoil of an AR-10, but let's face it, I mean, I think most of us agree and would prefer less recoil. It certainly is advantageous for faster follow-up shots, and then sometimes, you know, people just simply don't like the recoil. Anyway, so what I want to do here is I want to compare the the three different types of buffering systems that I've found. You know, we've got the standard buffer and spring that just comes with all of our guns. And then I've got a hydraulic buffer from Kinshot I've actually had for a long time. And then we're going to compare that with an Armaspec the stealth spring and just examine and see you know is there less recoil uh, how much is perceived we'll do some slow-mo and see if that can capture it and you know go through it that way anyway let's just check them out and see if it's worth the extra coin to try to mitigate or decrease the recoil on your 308 or ar-10 platform I'm Drew Case. Welcome to Beyond Seclusion, where I only give you my honest opinion, and it is what it is. All right, what I want to do here is we're going to just swap these out. I'm going to go one at a time. I'm going to... Okay, real quick, how I'm going to shoot this is going to make a difference in perceived recoil. How I'm going to shoot it is how I was taught out in South Carolina at the Clinton Foundation when we did the mile shot, which means I'm going to hold this and position it, and I'm gonna actually have probably about as little as contact as possible, which is actually gonna give me a pretty good idea because it's gonna come slamming back with more recoil versus less recoil. Anyway, that's how I'm gonna start and try it. So you're not going to you're never going to hear me complain about the recoil of a 308 or an AR10 but it definitely has some movement and that's definitely going to affect rapid follow up shots you know I'm going to have to basically re reacquire the target let's swap this out put this in and see if we notice a difference Okay, I gotta be honest, I, I'll have to look at the footage, but as far as my perception and what I could feel, I didn't feel any difference. Um, actually, if anything, it almost felt like it moved more. I do wanna try something real quick. I'm gonna, while I've got this in, I'm gonna go ahead and hug it in tight, a more traditional, and see if that's any different, and then replace that, do a couple shots with that, and see if I can feel anything there. Okay, so the difference between those two, um, I, I, I couldn't perceive any difference at, at all. In fact, um, almost almost felt like I had a little more recoil with the Armaspec. I do have a kin shot. 
hydraulic buffer for the AR-10. Had this for a while. Um, let's throw this in and see if I can notice a difference. See if you can notice a difference. Hey folks, if you're enjoying this review, do you follow my channel? Would you be willing to help support the channel if it costs you nothing, not a zip, zero? Hit that subscribe button. That does as much as anything, so hit that button. I just got a new webpage, Home of the Crazy Stupid Deals. You have to check it out. You will be shocked to see some of the deals that I find. You can now subscribe to be notified immediately when I find them. Cost you nothing. I did this for those of you that don't like Facebook. If you do follow Facebook, come check me out and follow me there too. If you ever shop on Amazon, simply go in through my links below in the description. Anything and everything you purchase helps support the channel. Going through my links and it costs you nothing. You can literally buy toilet paper and this helps support the channel. Check out my company picks, the companies I purchase most often from and find most of my crazy stupid deals on. Using these links supports the channel and keeps the reviews coming. While you're there, check out my highly rated online courses. They come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself what folks are saying about them. Bottom line, check out my webpage. Lots of good stuff there, and doing so helps support the channel. Thanks for your support. I couldn't do this without you. You know, I don't know if you can see it on the footage, but i got to be honest, I really do think that there was less recoil with the Ken shot. Uh, what I want to do now is go back to what I did on the others, and I'm just going to barely hold it, and then we'll take a look at the editing. But it did seem like there was less recoil. Now, I can't remember what the kin shot is running. The question is going to be how much is it worth to you to have less recoil, and how much, I guess, less recoil. There you have it guys it is what it is you decide what you think you know recoil mitigating buffers hydraulic buffers stealth springs yeah i don't know you decide what you think as far as i could perceive the kin shot was the only one that i could actually feel less recoil with or notice anyway hope you enjoyed the video found it helpful if so make sure and subscribe Remember to educate our young people to guns and gun safety and be a safe and responsible gun owner.